Neutrinos are some of the most elusive particles in the universe, tiny, nearly massless, and capable of passing through vast amounts of matter without interacting. Given their abundance and the theoretical models predicting how they should interact with organic matter, scientists expected to detect more neutrino interactions within living tissues than have been observed. This discrepancy, known as the missing neutrino problem in living tissue, raises intriguing questions about the fundamental nature of both neutrinos and biological systems. Why does this matter? Neutrinos are produced in enormous quantities by the sun, nuclear reactions, and cosmic events, yet their interactions with biological matter, cells, proteins, and DNA, seem to occur far less frequently than expected. Theoretically, neutrinos should occasionally interact with the atomic nuclei in living tissue, potentially causing subtle molecular changes or even influencing biological processes in unknown ways. However, experimental observations do not match the predicted interaction rates. Could it be that our understanding of neutrino biology is incomplete? Or is there an unknown shielding or absorption mechanism at play within living systems? One possibility is that living tissue exhibits quantum coherence effects which may allow cells to reduce or dissipate the effects of neutrino interactions more efficiently than previously thought. Some researchers speculate that the unique molecular arrangements in biological systems could create conditions where neutrinos pass through without detectable effects similar to how photonic crystals manipulate light. Another hypothesis suggests that neutrinos interact with organic matter in ways we have yet to understand, such as through exotic weak force interactions that standard physics models do not yet fully account for. Moreover, if neutrinos do have subtle but significant effects on biological functions, perhaps influencing aging, cellular repair, or even consciousness, it can open up entirely new fields of study at the intersection of particle physics and biology. For instance, could neutrinos play a hidden role in the aging process, DNA mutations, or even cellular communication across long distances within the body? These speculative ideas push the boundaries of our understanding and challenge conventional scientific wisdom. Researchers are now exploring more sensitive detection methods to track neutrino interactions in biological systems, using advanced cryogenic detectors, deep underground laboratories, and even leveraging the unique properties of quantum sensors. The hope is to uncover whether neutrinos subtly shape the very processes of life in ways we have yet to comprehend. As the mystery of the missing neutrinos in living tissue continues to unfold, it serves as a reminder of how much we have yet to learn about the intricate dance between biology and the cosmos. Are neutrinos whispering secrets to our cells, or are they simply ghosts passing through unnoticed? The search for answers is just beginning. The missing neutrino problem originated in astrophysics, when scientists detected fewer neutrinos from the sun than predicted by theoretical models. A similar mystery arises when considering neutrino interactions within living tissue. Standard physics models suggest that neutrinos should interact with organic matter more frequently than what experiments detect. Neutrinos are nearly massless, chargeless particles that can pass through vast amounts of matter without interacting, but the discrepancies between theoretical predictions and experimental data suggest gaps in our understanding of their behavior within biological systems. For instance, theoretical calculations predict a certain rate of neutrino absorption by water molecules in living cells, but laboratory experiments consistently show a lower interaction frequency than expected. Think of neutrinos as extremely elusive guests at a party. They are expected to interact with many people, but they slip through unnoticed, baffling the host who expected more engagement based on their invitations. Uh, neutrinos interact with matter through weak nuclear forces, which are significantly weaker compared to electromagnetic or strong nuclear forces. In living tissue, neutrinos may interact with atomic nuclei and electrons, potentially influencing biological processes at a fundamental level. However, due to their tiny mass and neutral charge, their interaction cross-section is minuscule, meaning they usually pass through organisms undetected. Theoretical models suggest 
interactions could contribute to radiation damage or even quantum level cellular functions, but observed data fails to confirm these interactions at the expected rate. Research has attempted to detect neutrino-induced changes in DNA or protein structures, but results indicate almost no measurable effects, raising questions about the assumed interaction mechanisms. Um, imagine throwing thousands of tiny pebbles at a dense forest, expecting them to hit trees frequently, but instead, they all pass through the gaps unnoticed, challenging assumptions about the forest's density. The overestimation of neutrino interactions with living tissue in theoretical models could stem from incorrect assumptions about atomic densities, molecular structures, or quantum effects at biological scales. Standard models often treat biological tissues as uniform matter, ignoring the complex, dynamic, and structured nature of living cells, which may influence how neutrinos traverse organic material. Furthermore, potential shielding effects at the molecular level or unknown quantum effects might reduce the likelihood of interactions beyond what current theories predict. Studies have shown that water molecules in cells create fluctuating hydrogen bond networks that might provide unexpected paths for neutrinos to bypass interaction points. It's like predicting how often a bird will fly into a tree without considering the possibility that the bird navigates skillfully through small openings in the canopy. Quantum effects such as tunneling and entanglement could play a role in how neutrinos interact with biological molecules. Since neutrinos operate on the quantum scale, their wave-like properties might allow them to avoid interactions by exploiting pathways not accounted for in classical physics models. Additionally, biological systems might exhibit coherence effects that subtly influence how energy and particles like neutrinos propagate through them. In quantum biology, phenomena such as photosynthetic efficiency have been attributed to quantum coherence. Similarly, it is hypothesized that living cells might use quantum mechanisms that subtly influence neutrino behavior in ways not yet understood. Imagine trying to grab a shadow. It seems within reach, but its intangible nature makes it slip through your fingers, much like neutrinos potentially exploiting quantum loopholes. Although neutrinos rarely interact with living cells, their potential to trigger biochemical processes at the subatomic level remains an open question. Some theories suggest that neutrinos might influence mitochondrial activity, enzyme reactions, or even trigger signaling pathways that remain undetected due to their minimal impact per event. If neutrino interactions do occur, they could have long-term cumulative effects rather than immediate observable consequences. In some experimental setups, scientists have speculated that fluctuations in cellular energy production might correlate with cosmic neutrino flux, but definitive proof remains elusive. Think of neutrinos as whispers in a bustling crowd. Most people ignore them, but over time, they might subtly influence the overall conversation. Most people ignore them as whispers in a bustling crowd. Most people ignore them as whispers in a bustling crowd. Most people, biological evolution has led to highly sophisticated sensory mechanisms. And some researchers hypothesize that certain biological structures could be sensitive to neutrino interactions. Cellular structures like microtubules or DNA might possess the ability to respond to neutrinos indirectly, possibly influencing molecular alignment. Or The human nervous system is known to respond to minute electromagnetic signals. If similar sensitivity to neutrino interactions exists, it could revolutionize our understanding of bio-neutrino interactions. Imagine ultra-sensitive seismographs capable of detecting the faintest tremors from earthquakes, Perhaps living organisms have a similar hidden capability to sense neutrinos. Oh, oh. Environmental factors such as temperature, pressure, and electromagnetic fields might influence neutrino interactions with organic matter in ways not yet fully understood. Certain environmental conditions could enhance or suppress neutrino interaction probabilities, potentially explaining discrepancies between theoretical and observed data. Additionally, biochemical variability among different organisms could contribute to differing interaction rates. 
And deep sea creatures living under high pressure might experience slightly different neutrino interaction rates compared to organisms in surface environments, though the difference is currently too small to measure with existing tools. Consider how a radio signal strength varies depending on obstacles and interference in the environment. Current neutrino detection methods rely on massive underground detectors filled with water or heavy liquids to capture rare interactions. To better understand their behavior in living tissue, advanced nanoscale detectors, quantum sensors, and biocompatible materials could be developed to track neutrino interactions at cellular and molecular scales with greater precision. As in that case, Navani, I feel like more alive. It all sounds good, but it's a little cutting-edge research in quantum dots and nanomaterials aims to develop sensors that could one day detect neutrinos in living cells with higher sensitivity. Imagine upgrading an old telescope with the latest high-resolution lenses. Similarly, advancements in detection technology could reveal hidden neutrino interactions in biological cells. As research into neutrinos and quantum biology advances, Interdisciplinary approaches involving physics, molecular biology, and nanotechnology may provide new insights into the missing neutrino problem. Understanding these interactions could lead to breakthroughs in fields such as medical diagnostics, radiobiology, and even the development of novel therapeutic approaches leveraging neutrino phenomena. Future research might explore whether neutrino interactions contribute to unexplained biological phenomena, such as spontaneous mutations or cellular aging processes. Unlocking the secrets of neutrino interactions in biology is like discovering an entirely new dimension of life, something invisible yet fundamentally influential. The missing neutrino problem in living tissue presents an intriguing challenge at the intersection of physics and biology. Despite theoretical expectations, neutrino interactions with organic matter remain elusive suggesting that unknown factors ranging from quantum effects to environmental influences may be at play. Future technological advancements and interdisciplinary research efforts hold the key to solving this fascinating scientific mystery.